I want to read to you a story from the BBC with an interesting question they posed. Could a reboot make social media a nicer place? What if we started social media back up again? Roughly, what was it, 2006, 2007 was when, when social media really got popular with Twitter and Facebook. Maybe MySpace, you could put a little bit to that point, but really social media kicked in with Twitter and Facebook, 2006, 2007, right around there. It's when I started on both, 2007. So, so this PPC story from John P. Mello Jr. writes that one of the most popular cures for an alien computer, a Hollywood movie franchise, is off on a reboot. And some people hope a reset could also be remedied to fix toxic social media. And now there's an institute for rebooting social media proposing to do that over the next three years. This academic institute is a new initiative from the Harvard University Berkman Klein Center for Internet and Society, funded with $2 million from the John S. and John L. Knight Foundation, as well as Craig Newmark Philanthropies. Yes, Craig Newmark of Craig's List fame. So they're looking to better assess and make known how social media is evolving in order to understand how it might be possible to reconfigure it. Interesting story. So according to this information from the Harvard University's Berkman Klein Center for Internet Society, which I'll be calling BKCIS going forward, they're saying that social media is no longer fit for purpose. The platforms initially perceived as engines for democracy and truth appear to have instead facilitated the spread and acceptance of lies, division, and physical harm. So they're going political in this story, right? That's what this organization's saying. But there is something to be said about if social media did because of the fact that revenge porn or bullying, cyberbullying, and all the things that have come from this, the keyboard warriors, the opportunity to go and you know, be outspoken without being noticed, sitting behind, you know, no identity and being able to do that. I think that's one thing that actually comes up quite interesting. Now, part of the Institute's work will be to strengthen the benefits of increased online communication, minimizing its home for parts. But okay, sure. You could say there's some things where information from the last election, political things that are being put out there, some misconstruing out there, some misinformation, sure. You could absolutely do that. You could also say the same thing with the news media putting out clickbait stories that, you know, we find out are not true. We could say that too. But I think not so much what BBC is saying about this, but I think that it's the treatment of people on social media that would be a big difference. And also, you know, when people communicate with each other, going on the sliding of the DMs and talking to people like that. But then social media gives us so much content whether it's good or bad. There's a lot of entertainment to be found on social media, as a matter of fact. But you look at TikTok or Instagram, things like that. Now, Ashley Johnson, policy analyst of the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation, says, quote, there is a consensus. Even among people who run social media companies, there are growing problems with the way we interact and communicate. Quote, anytime you get together millions of people, you're going to amplify the best in people. You're also going to amplify the worst. The sheer scale and reach of social media would make reform difficult, they say. The interviewer here, they talked to Karen Kovacs North, director of the Annenberg Program on Online Communities at University of Southern California, USC, saying, quote, it's not as easy as saying there's a problem at a company. Let's figure out how to change its culture. While some social media has some societal benefits, has some harmful effects on people. That's what John Carroll, media analyst and journalist based in Boston says, quote, in many ways, it's structured to exploit people's weakness and opportunistic in maximizing its own use. The gamification and addictive response of social media is something that's really hard to disrupt. Now, Craig Newmark of Craigslist and Craig Newmark Philanthropy says, quote, current social media has a tendency to exaggerate differences of people, to outrage and to radicalize. Quote, that's the part of the business model in many cases. We need social media where people listen to each other, where they can find common ground and work together. Hey, social media single-handedly made Craigslist almost irrelevant because they really just took away all the good things that Craigslist had and just took it down. I mean, just what kind of happened? And then when Craigslist lost their dating section, that really hurt them a lot. What can I say? 
the architects of this Harvard project say that's where collaboration is baked into the new design of this institute. Quote, it will be using a multidisciplinary approach, corralling participants across industry, government, civil society, and academia to build a portfolio of research projects, programming, and educational opportunities to improve the digital social space. It's an interesting project, but I would say to this institute, don't just focus on the misinformation because of some kind of government narrative that has to be set around there. Let's, let's just be honest with each other, okay? The news media, they're a joke. The politicians are a bunch of... They're honestly a bunch, of, a bunch of prostitutes, in my own opinion. They take money and they perform little. It's kind of like that. You know, they, they prounce around for your money. They're basically prostitutes. And may I say, prostitutes have more integrity than politicians. If you look at the totem pole, like really, I mean, it's just the way it is. I look at some of the political campaigns being put out there now. Oh, the one candidate down here in south florida she wants to give out a thousand dollars universal basic income per month same thing andrew Yee put out and i'm saying to myself okay how are you going to do that how do you possibly think you're going to put that out there and whatever it is she's got a lot of money this particular candidate whose name i'm not going to mention a lot of money is being put into her because i see her signs big and huge and all over the place everywhere she's running for congress so there's that idea so anyway, we're going to leave it there, and I'll talk to you next time.